Welcome to this final module of Introduction to AI, where we're going to look at the productivity boosts you can obtain using Microsoft Copilot. So, I've got four use cases for you that you can use in your day-to-day -day work. So, first off, we have a use case involving Microsoft Word and Copilot. So, with Copilot, you can access it directly as an app within Windows. You can visit a website, so you can access it on any web page and therefore any device. But significantly, it's also built into a number of Microsoft apps, such as Word. Excel, PowerPoint, Teams, and Outlook. So in this first example, we are going to use Copilot in Word to generate a report from information obtained on the internet. So let's go over to Word, and you'll see that I have got an existing prompt here where I'm instructing Copilot to create a report detailing the benefits of vocational and business training with a comparison of positive outcomes across the UK and Europe. Include tables and charts where appropriate and list sources with URLs for any statistic or data used. So I'm going to fire that off. Now you might think with such a detailed report that it would take some time to produce, but you can see that it's already started and in fact Copilot has just finished this report. So it literally just took a few seconds to draw down that information and create the document right here in Word with a finishing with a conclusion. If we go back to the uh, top here, you can see the advantages of running something like this within Word because it has included a nice heading for us, a subheading, an introduction, relevant paragraphs with nice bullet points there, a table like I requested, and did ask for charts, and it's kind of like put in a section of the charts here, although it hasn't actually put in the chart. And it's included the sources, although disappointingly hasn't actually included the URLs, and then finished off with a conclusion. But nevertheless, a promising start if you were given the task of generating a report along these lines. But remember, it could literally be about any subject whatsoever. So there you go, how to use Copilot in Word to generate a report based on data and information retrieved from the internet. You can use Copilot to help you with both Teams and in-person meetings. So Whatever sort of meeting type that you've got, you can use Copilot to help you prepare for that meeting. It can pull together emails, notes, documents, even Teams messages related to that meeting. So quite handy rather than you having to trawl through all your information and different folders and your Outlook to find everything that you need. You can just simply put a prompt into Copilot, as we'll see shortly, and that will help you get organized for your meeting. So if you have a Teams meeting, you can also use Copilot during that meeting. So let's say that you're a little bit late and you want to get yourself up to speed, then you can just say, what have I missed? And Copilot will summarize that meeting for you. Or perhaps you want to check if you've got any actions as you're getting towards the end of the meeting, you can do that as well. On top of all of that, once the meeting has finished, you can have a handy summary, which summarizes all the key points of the meeting, including, and I do find this really useful, actions that everyone has agreed to take. Now, that can often be a, a missing piece when it comes to, to meetings. So this really helps you make your meetings more productive. So to preparation of meeting, let's have a look at uh, an example here. Now, we're going to use the Copilot uh, app. Could equally, equally well be using the Copilot on the web, but we're using the app. There's very little difference. In fact, I don't think there's any difference to the app compared with the uh, interface on the web. And as it happens, we've got the prompt that we need here. So you've got some useful suggested prompts, and we're going to use this one. So prep for a particular meeting. Now, what you can do is just forward slash, and you can see that I'm on the meetings tab, and I'm going to see if I can get it to help me prepare for social media catch-up calls. So I'm going to file 
that off and let's see what happens. So first of all, it's confirmed the essential details. So we've got next Friday at uh, 10 a.m. here. Uh, and we've got the fact that it's organized by Kareem that I'm invited. We've got the, the time uh, the fact that I haven't RSVP'd. So that's something for, for me to do. And really usefully, we've got some files that we're going to need for that meeting to uh, to reference those for our discussion, even a, an email related to the meeting. And uh, we've got some suggestions here to review the reports, to confirm the attendance, yeah, which I need to do uh, to prepare discussion points. Plus, we've got a suggestion for anything else that um, it uh, is asking that perhaps uh, I want to want to do. Um, and all of those files are handily referenced uh, below if I need to uh, access any of those. So a really handy way to, to draw everything together that you need prior to a meeting. So if you're in the business of creating PowerPoint slide decks on a regular basis, I think you're going to find this use case particularly helpful. So using Copilot that's built into PowerPoint, you can create slides in a couple of ways. So you can point Copilot at the internet or your organization's data to draw down relevant information to create your PowerPoint presentation, or you can effectively convert a file. So you can point Copilot at a Word document or a PDF document, and using that information, create a fully fledged slide deck. Now, either of these methods means that you do save a considerable amount of time, as we'll see in the demo, where we're going to create a PowerPoint slide deck from a Word document, and the whole process is pretty easy as well. So without further ado, let's go over to PowerPoint where we have a new slide deck. And there are a couple of ways of using Copilot here. So we have uh, an icon. If I click that, I get three options. Create a presentation, create a presentation with file, which is the one we're going to demo shortly, or ask Copilot. We've also got a Copilot sidebar here with a number of options. So very much built into PowerPoint. So let's go to create a presentation with file and we get a preview window here. Now what I'm going to do is reference a previous webinar on AI that I ran for NILC and access the meeting summary which we have here. So I'm going to create the slides from this meeting summary. So I'm going to fire that off and within this preview window it will handily show us an outline almost straight away of what it's going to create. Now this is super useful because you can actually edit this. If you want to move things around you can just drag and drop around here you can add in a new section if you want to, or you can even use the trash can to remove a enti an entire section if you wish. But we're happy with that. So let's fire off the Generate Slides button. And within the preview window, Copilot is going to helpfully tell us what it's up to. So it's currently adding titles to slides, and we should see those appear very shortly. After it's added the titles, which we're now seeing, it's going to add some content, which should start to appear very soon, and you can see that now. And then it'll apply a design, pulling the slides together, uh, applying a design, there we go. And hey presto, really quickly, it's created our slide deck with all the sections as outlined in the preview window. So let's just get a slightly different view of that. So if we go to view and normal, we've got our slides here on the left. So we've got a nice little agenda there right through to a conclusion at the end. And I'm sure you'll agree most of the graphics here, the images that are included are pretty much appropriate to the relevant section. You might have to do a bit of work to tidy it up a little bit, but certainly a very good starting point, saving you a considerable amount of time. And it's all formatted consistently with section slides built in as well. So it's a useful way of creating PowerPoint slides by using Copilot within PowerPoint. 
In this fourth use case for Microsoft Copilot, we're going to look at using Copilot as a search and retrieval tool. So if you need to prepare for a project or a meeting, or perhaps you're running a training session, then this feature is fantastic at going out across your organization's data and information and putting everything you need in all in a concise summary. So previously, if you'd used Windows Search, perhaps you could locate a file or two, but only really by file name and not topic or subject. So this is a super helpful feature that works smoothly, quickly, and efficiently, basically helping you to increase your productivity and your knowledge. So let's see how it works in practice. So I'm just gonna go onto Copilot in the browser, and we're making sure we're on the work tab here so that Copilot accesses my organization's data. A pre-prepared prompt here, can you provide information on TikTok best practice? So let's see what happens here. So it's saying looking for TikTok best practice, and it's working away, and instantly it has come back with some results here. And what it has done is, first of all, it's put information from my company, but it's also gone out to the web as well. So super helpful if I was preparing some materials, perhaps writing a blog post around this subject. So you can clearly see that this information here, this file, this file here, all very relevant to TikTok best practice, that one as well. And then it's also drawn down information from the web. Helpfully, it's put all the relevant files and reference points to the internet here, so I can go out to get more information there if I want to. But also, we've got some suggested prompts here as well. So if I wanted to summarize a particular document, I can do that. So let's just try that and see how that works. It's put the prompt in there, and I'm just going to fire that off, and we can then drill down further into what turns out to be an email. So super useful ability to be able to, to do that. And I can even drill further down into the topic, for example, looking for trending hashtags on TikTok or even more details on SEO than have previously been mentioned. So a really handy search and retrieval feature that I'm sure you're going to find useful within the Microsoft ecosystem.